What's going on everybody? This is Kurt Rice of Kurt Rice Baseball. How's everybody doing? It's fine early Tuesday morning. It's probably around 3.30, close to 3.30 in the morning. Um, I want to do a quick video on how to maintain and keep your Bruce Bolt batting gloves looking brand new. So without further ado, let's get started. You can kind of tell where these I've been using these I haven't been using them on the field because I, I just don't play anymore and stuff like that but I'm going to give you all uh, just a general idea on how to keep them uh, maintained and keep them looking uh, pretty much brand new so the bruise bolts are, are Cabretta leather they're all leather so <clears throat> um, if you sweat a lot if your hands sweat a lot uh, like drench them Make sure they dry out first. So, you know, take take them and open them up. Open them up and lay them out like that. Um, you know, don't don't leave them out, you know, too long, but you want to leave them out to where they dry out and stuff like that. Make sure they're dry first. Cuz uh when you have really sweaty hands, Sweat contains salt. Salt does a number on leather. Like I've seen baseball gloves that I relace and they're just, they are um, just, I mean, the, the inside of the shell, inside of the palm and stuff where you put your hand in and stuff like that, where the fingers are, is just totally, some of them are just totally deteriorated and stuff like that. It's because sweat contains salt and salt does damage on leather. So let them dry out first if you have real sweaty hands. If you have, um, if you have just regular sweaty hands, like they don't drench them, like you like you can see the sweat going through the, the palm there. Go ahead and put them back in your bag. But I, me personally, I don't have real sweaty hands, but I do sweat some. I still let them dry out. So um, that would be the uh, first step. Uh, the second step is condition them. Condition your um, uh, well, you know. Uh, not condition, but clean them. Clean them first, uh, and um, with like a mild, a really light, uh, soapy water. Uh, I use warm water, not like boiling water, not like scalding hot, but just warm water will do. And I'm gonna show you in just a few minutes what I use. Just get you a nice little uh, brush. Uh, what I use is the Ball Players Balm uh, brushes with the cleaner glove cleaner they have this brush too so if you have like pine tar uh like you pro guys use pine tar you can uh use this to uh scrub it out with maybe try that um uh stuff like that and i also use their conditioner i'm about to show you all that here in just a second okay so uh clean them first get all the dirt out if you know if you're you know an everyday guy you know, you're not going to want to, you're not going to want to, you know, scrub them all down and, you know, every night after a game because you're probably tired and stuff like that. But um, clean them first. If they're really dirty, stuff like that, give them a good cleaning, you know, here and there. So, um, and then the next step uh, would be to condition them. So I, I use, I'm going to use the Ball Players Bond Conditioner. That'll help. Um, you know, it's just like a leather baseball glove. If you don't condition it, it's just like your skin. If you don't put lotion on it, it's going to dry out eventually. So put some conditioner on them once a month and that'll keep them, uh, looking brand new. But my, main, main thing is clean them before you condition them. Let them dry out too after you clean them because the water, uh, dries leather out really bad as well. So, um, just make sure you... Uh, dry them out first before you put some conditioner on them. Any baseball conditioner is fine. I use the Ball Players Balm glove conditioners. Excellent stuff. Um, don't leave them out in the rain. If it's if it's pouring rain or don't use them in the rain. If it's pouring rain outside, don't use them in the rain. Because, uh, like I said, water dries out leather. Um, uh, stuff like that. So, um, just want to make sure I'm going over everything. Um, yeah, pretty much got everything, uh, there, uh, to help you maintain your gloves, your, um, 
Bruce bolts a little bit better, uh, stuff like that. So now um, you can also use a deodorizer to keep them smelling good, but here's the cool thing about Ball Players Bomb Glove Cleaner. This stuff smells amazing and it's a good glove cleaner. So there it is. And I mean, the, it's got the freshest scent I've ever smelled. So, um, and their brushes are bar none, probably the best on the market. I use, if, if you have, like I said, pine tar on the palm, you can use this one, scrub it out with. You can tell I've been using that one quite a bit. They have hog hair brushes, which gets the dirt out and stuff, uh, and stuff like that. This is a regular, just a regular brush. They'll label it a hog hair and just a regular brush. So without further ado, let, let's go ahead and knock this out. So what I do is, as you can tell, I've got some little black, little stuff on the lightning bolt there. I'm gonna open up this, the uh, ball player's ball and glove cleaner. I'm going to dip it in this, in this warm water. I'm not gonna use like, uh, I'm not gonna use scalding hot water. Get it lukewarm. You know, and I just I just kind of dip it in my brush in there, and then this will set up once it gets water in it, right there. And this like I said, this stuff smells amazing. So uh, you don't need, honestly, uh, there are videos out there that tell you use a deodorizer, but th this is all you need. It's got the deodorizer plus uh, it'll clean them. It smells amazing. So what I'm going to do is take it and we're gonna try to get we're gonna try and get that dirt we're gonna try to get that lightning bolt cleaned up if not um, you know it's fine but this will this will get all the dirt out of your gloves uh, you just rub it gently in there just rub them just rub them over gently and don't don't put a lot of try not to put a lot of water and stuff on it like I'm doing now and get you a get you a towel and what you want to do is rub all that off of there get all that soapy water off of there okay there we go get it off there it is right there you can get it off this too off the uh, velcro strap right there you can see it cleaned it up some right up through here let's try to get this part here real quick i'm just going to use that again and it may come out it may not okay i'm not going to do it too much okay there we go it looks a lot better it looks a little bit better than what it did as you can tell right there, that's not trying to come out too well, but that's okay. But it will get the dirt out. It will get the dirt out and stuff like that. This, the uh, ball player's bomb will get, you know, the dirt out and it smells great. So that's how I would do it. And you know, what you want to do is just take it and brush it over all over, you know, take it and then grab I, if you have pine tar on the center of it and on the palm of the glove, just take this, take this, dip it in there a little bit. Uh, other people do it different. They'll, they'll take it and put the water on the glove and then do it. I just dip it in the water and dip it in the cleaner, but just, just give it a little light scrubbing like this and then take you a towel and wipe the, wipe the whole glove down like this. Okay, you want to get all that water out of there. Okay, and get all the soap out as well. Okay, make sure you get it all out. Now what you want to do after you clean these is make sure they dry out first. Do not put, try not to put conditioner on it right after you do it. Make sure they dry out a little bit. Got a little bit more water right there. Okay, there we go, I'm gonna wipe that up. Now I'm gonna let that glove dry out before I do anything else to it, okay? Now, I'm gonna set this glove to the side, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is 
grab my glove, my ball player's bond glove conditioner, and take it. I use medical gloves, but you know, this stuff's, you know, I'm gonna wash my hands and just take it and rub you some glove conditioner on these gloves once a month. Okay, just rub it in there, just like that. And it'll help maintain these gloves. And also another tip, a couple of tips, don't leave them out in the sun. Don't just throw them in your bag either. Don't leave them out in the sun and don't just throw them in your bag. Uh, get all, you know, make sure you dry them out first if you got extra sweaty hands. If you don't, throw them back in the bag that it came in. This bag right here, throw them back in the bag that it came in. Okay. All right, and then put them back in your bag. Don't just throw them in your bag. Don't leave them out in the sun, like I said. And another thing a lot of people don't realize is keep your nails trimmed up. Keep your nails trimmed. And mine are dry at the tips, but keep your nails trimmed up. The little pointy, the little pointy nails. You know, sometimes I've seen ball players where they're poking out through the uh, guys I used to play with. They don't trim their nails and they poke out through. That's why the back gloves don't last. Keep keep your nails trimmed up. You know, you don't want to play with long nails. If you do, want to look cute, that's on you. <laughs> so just just take take your leather conditioner and go along the glove just like that get the leather part right there and from what i understand that once you put leather conditioner on these things it closes the pores of the leather and it keeps kind of keeps a lot of some of the dirt out as well but um there we go right there it's already looking really nice so just get your leather part, open up this side, make sure you get down here, right there. There we go. It's already looking nice and shiny. And let it let it uh let it set in for a little bit and then uh, make, let them set overnight when you condition them inside. Don't put them inside your baseball bag or nothing. Just let them sit inside overnight uh, in your room or whatever and uh let them let the conditioner set in. So there we are folks. Uh, there's some uh, tips on how to keep your boost bolt batting gloves looking new and fresh. So I hope this video helps. If anybody has any questions, please leave a comment down below. This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. Y'all have a blessed day.